Hello everyone, my name is Mini Sethi. I hope you all are staying healthy. Today we are going to talk about Silo-Salabani limit pricing model. According to this model, prize leader, which is most efficient firm, will set a limit price. According to this model, prize leader, which is most efficient firm, will set a limit price. And this limit price will prevent a new and less efficient firm from entering a market. But still this price allow existing and established firm to earn at least a normal profit. In short, according to this model, price leader firm will set a limit price. And this limit price will prevent entry of a new firm. But still this price allow existing firm to earn at least a normal profit. Assumptions. Price leader is the largest and most efficient firm decide a price. Economies of scales are barriers of entry. That means a new firm will start from small scale. Small scale we can't receive economies of scale. Eventually it become barriers to entry. Price taker. Price is decided by leader firm. All other firm in industry will accept a price which is decided by leader firm. Homogeneous product. All firm in industry have a same type of product. New firm assumed to enter with higher cost and with small plant size. How to calculate a limit price? Leader firm calculate limit price based on average total cost plus normal rate of profit. In this equation, this PL represent limit price which is set by leader firm. Average total cost R is rate of profit. Now we will see diagram, quantities, price, demand curve, average cost belongs to small plant, average cost belongs to medium plant, average cost belongs to large plant. Initially before entry of a new firm, output is x4, x4 equal to x5 minus x1. x5 means total output produced by small firm. And X1 is output expect from firm which in future can enter in market. Please listen carefully. Initially before entry of new firm, total output is X4 which is equal to X5 minus X1. X5 total output which all small firm can produce. X1 means output we expect from the firm which in the future can enter in market. So initial output is OX4 and initial price is OP4. Now suppose a new firm has entered in market. As new firm enter in market, output increase from x4 to x5 now our output is x5 and x5 is equal to x4 plus x1 x4 is our initial output and x1 is a output which new firm currently producing in market so as new firm entered output increase from x4 to x5 but price fall from p p4 to p3 so here you can see as new firm enter in market output increase from x4 to x5 and price reduce from p4 to p3. Initially leader firm kept x4 output and p4 uh, price. This is a strategy for a leader firm and leader firm deliberately made this strategy for a small plant because leader knows if any new firm will enter it must have a small plant obviously initially new firm cannot enter with large plant initially new firm cannot afford a large plant so in this model we assume any new firm will enter with a small plant that's why leader of a firm deliberately made this strategy for small plant by keeping less output and charging higher price as a new firm enter in market output increase from x4 to x5 and price fall from p4 to p3 
एंड पी थ्री इज मिनिमम एक्सेप्टेबल प्राइज फॉर स्मॉल प्लांट बट वाई पी थ्री इज मिनिमम एक्सेप्टेबल प्राइज फॉर स्मॉल प्लांट बिकॉज पी थ्री प्राइज इज इक्वल टू एवरेज कॉस्ट ऑफ फॉर्म विच हैज स्मॉल प्लांट एंड फॉर्म विद स्मॉल प्लांट कैन नॉट सर्वाइव इन मार्केट इफ प्राइज फॉल बिलो टू पी थ्री सपोज प्राइज फॉल बिलो टू पी थ्री देन ओबियसली स्मॉल फॉर्म विल नॉट सर्वाइव इन मार्केट एंड एग्जिट फ्रॉम मार्केट एज अ स्मॉल और यू कैन से न्यू फॉर्म एंड एग्जिट फ्रॉम मार्केट दैन लीडर अगेन increase price from p3 to p4 and reduce output from x5 to x4 so we can say that this is strategy for leader form for preventing new entry criticisms this model based on unrealistic assumption of homogeneous product in reality product of form can heterogeneous also simplified market structure this model uh, assume a leader firm will decide price but in reality firm can adopt some other method for deciding price this model of assume economies of scale work as a barrier but don't focus on specific type of barrier ignore strategic interaction this model don't cover full range of strategic interaction according to this model a new firm will always enter with small scale but it can possible new firm can enter with large scale so this is all about today's video i think you got it and thank you so much for watching this video bye take care